Welcome to Fun Size Fiction. Treat your ears with tiny tales, written and read by Renee Canolti. That's me. And here's this week's story. My best cooker hat. I squinted through my left eye, my right eyelid still squeezed shut, and made out the forms of two small children as they leapt on top of me. Santa came, they squealed in unison. Can we open our presents now? I turned my head to the side and glanced at the digital display. 508. Come and give me a cuddle for a bit first, it's still night time. My husband stirred beside me as both children wriggled under the covers with us. A wave of sticky air wafted over me from the open bedroom door. Shut the door, the air con's on, I mumbled. My eldest bounded out of bed, closed the door and then he jumped back in. We snuggled together for about two minutes until my kids couldn't contain themselves any longer. Daddy, is it present time yet? My youngest asked, prying his eyelid open. Mmm, he grunted. Have you unpacked your stockings yet? I asked. Yep, see, my son said, thrusting one of the trinkets towards me. I relented and opened both my eyes to see what it was. Come on then, we need to have breakfast first and then we can do presents. The kids scrambled out of bed and raced to the kitchen. Hubby and I wandered out after them. Fruit Loops? I asked. Yes, please. We sat together around the dining table and devoured our bowls of colourful cereal. Our special treat reserved for major holidays and birthdays. Then, coffees in hand, Hubby and I followed the kids into the lounge room. We each claimed a spot to sit and pile our presents. Can I be Santa's helper? My son asked. Sure, Hubby replied. My baby boy seems so big now. Where had all that time gone? He took his responsibility seriously, choosing presents and delivering them to the correct family member. This one's for you, Mummy, he said, handing me an oblong package. Everyone watched on as I unwrapped the gift from my son and daughter. Hidden inside the bright wrapping was a crisp white chef's hat. I pulled it from the package and popped it on my head. Mummy, I pick that because you're a chef and I love your dinners, my son exclaimed, a huge smile plastered on his face. Yeah, Mummy, you're the best cooker ever, my daughter chimed in. My heart swelled with love and the joy of feeling appreciated. I wore that hat proudly for the rest of the morning, puffing it back up when it began to collapse. A week later, after slaving over the stove for what seemed like hours, my youngest declared, I hate this dinner. This is the worst dinner ever. I breathed deeply, carried my empty plate to the sink and picked up my chef's hat from its perch on top of the slow cooker. I placed it carefully on my head, I felt myself puff back up instead of collapsing. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this story, hit subscribe so you don't miss my next fun size fiction. You can find out more about me and my writing on my website, heysaidrene.blogspot.com.